Okay, uh, here's a very typical one. Uh, what made you guys want to be an actor? You know what, that question isn't as typical as you think, so I appreciate that question. I wanted to be an actor, I think, because I, I grew up hearing such like amazing stories, like bedtime stories, and always read amazing books, and that, I think, made me want to like play make-believe. I saw musical theater first, um, like Broadway shows in New York, and I fell in love with the idea of being on stage and being a performer, yeah. and singing and dancing, and I took like an acting class. And I loved that you could be on stage and be very still and natural, but yet command an entire audience with simplicity. I loved how that felt. I loved the idea of being present on stage and being totally in the moment. When would you say was the moment that you feel like, okay, this is what I really love? Was it like love at first try? Like the first time you tried acting or was there a moment in your life which um, when you did it and you feel like, okay, this is something I really want to pursue. It was immediate for me. Mm. The first time I went on stage, I, I was nine years old and I did ballet. I did a dance yeah. show uh, called The Nutcracker. And I went and after the performance, I, my mom got me from the show and I told her that's what, I was nine years old, I said, I want to do this forever. Mm. So this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. How was your parents respond to that? Very supportive because my mother wanted to be a dancer and be and she wanted to be a performer and her mm -hmm. parents were not supportive. Right. And it, she felt like that hurt her chances. Yeah. Um, she got into Juilliard in New York City, but also she got into MIT because right. she was very smart. Okay. Um, luckily for me, I wasn't that smart, so <laughs> I didn't have to choose between being what smart or being choose? talented. What did she choose? <laughs> She, her parents forced her to go to MIT. Really? They said, you, you're not going to Juilliard, you're out of your mind. There's no career in that. Yeah. But then after she graduated from college, she went right into performing. Right. And she said, I understand if you don't want to do that, if you want to just be an actor, you go and do it. So I was very lucky. I think I always really loved it. I, I, I always took it really seriously and I really mm. loved being on stage. For mm. me, it was stage as well. And then yeah. I remember when I went to drama school, I had some really amazing teachers who sort of was challenged me so much and it and it became so about connected to you and your life and your emotions and what you feel about the world and I and I felt it was the only way I could really express myself right and it became I relied on that mm. form of expression yeah were your family supportive yeah completely completely is there a stereotype where uh, chasing a dream such as being an actor or in the creative feel like looked down upon it depends on the on the uh, class yeah. that you're rolling with so I remember there was there's certain people who are very into business and um, everyone is supposed to go and make a lot of money yeah and I when I told those kind of people those family friends I'm gonna be an actor yeah. they all sort of like said that's very nice but you're not you're gonna go to college right and I said no and they said you're an idiot and you're gonna ruin your life mm. and waste your life and I said but I think the idea of being a businessman sounds like a waste of a life to me. Yeah. Um, so there is always, I think there's always people who will doubt you, et cetera. Yeah. Um, and what I'm very impressed by is people who have families that don't support them and still are able to make break through the other side and, and yeah. be successful. Yeah. So I can't imagine what that's like not to have the support of your family, but um, you know, I, there will always be people who doubt you if you want to go into a creative field. Yeah. But the most important thing you can have is that certainty that you know this is what I'm doing and I don't care about success, I care about how my happiness. Yes. How long did it took you till you got, let's say, your big break that you felt like, okay, this was the movie that made me an established actor? Um, I did an English television show called Downton Abbey and that I think for me was a real breakthrough. It was something that was like seen by across the world and was people loved it. So. I definitely think that was a real moment for me where things changed. I, I was really lucky and right out of high school I got a movie which was Carrie. Yeah. I'm so happy like this this is enough for me because when I was growing up and wanting to be an actor my idea of being an actor was if I can live my life and not be a waiter at the same time. Uh, you might like look back and 20 years ago there was a great movie with an amazing person who was the lead actor in that mm -hmm. movie yeah. and where are they now? Yeah. So like that's not really good enough for me. I, I want to be w acting and working until I'm 80 years old. I want to die while a movie of mine isn't even out yet. Mm. Yeah. That's what I really want. Cool. And I don't think there's any there's such thing as like one movie that will cement the fact that you are here to stay. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's a career where you have to continue to work and you have to continue to be breaking through constantly. Right. No one is safe uh, cool. in that way of being a star. I think uh, what's most important is that you do good work and um, you, or you cherish every opportunity. Yeah. Um, Baby Driver might be the last big movie I ever do. Um, and so for that reason, I appreciate it. And I hope to, I hope to continue to work. Baby Driver is one of my personal favorites of 2017. That's why you have to go catch it in cinemas. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, like and comment below what you want to see more from us. We are in the midst of making more awesome stuff for you guys, so stay tuned. If you were a fruit, what would you be and why? I'd be a jackfruit, because I'm jacked. <laughs> <laughs> and because I taste really good, but also I can smell bad sometimes. Wait, that, that sounds so wrong. I'd be a, a passion fruit, because oh. I'm passionate. Right. <laughs> passionate from miles away. And also I love the Drake song. I can't think <laughs> no. I'm out of here, baby.